Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use GitHub Copilot within VBA in Microsoft Excel. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how it works, how it feels, and after that I'm going to show you how you can replicate the setup on your end in a couple of very easy steps. So let's get started and have GitHub Copilot write a bit of code for us. Uh, if we just, you know, go ahead, then uh, often it just uh, creates these uh, really not very helpful inputs. But then if we uh, write a comment that we want to have a message box with all sheet names, then it can actually do generate code that we can use. So I'll, to accept that, I'll just hit the tab key, then I hit enter and um, again uh, tab enter so this way uh, we're sort of like uh, walking our way through the auto generated code i uh, hit at this point Control and s to save that uh, file over here and at this point then we can go over to excel and run that code and uh, funny enough surprisingly enough that actually works and it really does print the sheet names from over here and so like if I wanted to you know get a little bit uh, more complex I could tell it to like exclude sheet names that start with sheet and once I do that uh, GitHub Copilot um, actually puts in the full if loop so what I need to do now is I need to click on Control shift K to delete the line below the old line and then I can just again click on Control s and test my code and again it just works so it does ignore the first two sheets here and only print those that do not start with the name sheet so that's pretty amazing um, you know don't expect too much though in my personal experience it's about 50 50 so 50 percent something that actually works and is useful and is roughly along the line that you that you want it to be and then the other 50 percent where it's just going to invent anything uh, but uh, vba code and so um, as I initially promised, I'm going to show you now how you can replicate this on your end. There's uh, two components required. One is obviously the GitHub Copilot part, and then the other one is getting the Visual Studio here or maybe also a PyCharm um, IDE will actually work. Um, getting that code to sync over into Excel VBA editor. So for the Copilot stuff, uh, you basically need to have the GitHub Copilot extension installed. You also do need to have a subscription to GitHub Copilot. Um, you need to pay for that, um, but they do have a free, I believe, two month uh, trial. So you can definitely try it without having to pay something. Um, once you have this installed and you know it, it, it requires you to log in, uh, you will get automatically the uh, auto suggestion here in, in the module. Now to get this to sync over with Excel, what you need to do is download the Excel uh, Wings client, uh, command line client CLI. And to, to do that, uh, you can go to the GitHub Excel Wings release page and I'll definitely leave uh, a, a link uh, below in the description. You can come here, you can download the excelwings.exe and um, then you need to place it somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna go into more details afterwards but for now what I've done previously I've just dropped it here on the desktop as you can see. So um, to get this running what you would have to do is basically uh, let, let's stop that, let's stop this real quick and um, what you would need to do here is, is really just uh, drag and drop this um, Excel Wings XE over here. That's an easy way to get the full path into the, the terminal here. It would also work on a command prompt if you don't want to use the integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code. Um, and then you just say Excel Wings uh, VBA edit. And that then will actually work with the active workbook that is open demo XLSM. And then it'll 
uh, basically extract the code into the current working directory, uh, which in our case now is this directory. So if everything looks good to you, then uh, simply hit enter and that enables now the auto syncing. There is a little detail um, that you need to set uh, once in, in Excel. So you need to go to options and then trust center, uh, trust center settings. And here under macro settings, make sure that the trust access to VBA project object model is enabled. This is required so that an external process, the Excel Wings XE, can write to the Excel uh, VBA editor. And that's pretty much it. There is one more step that you can do to make your life a little easier on, on this end here. So instead of having to reference the full path of the Excel Wings XE, what you could do is you could go to C, um, backslash windows you can just drag and drop that excel wings xc into the c windows folder uh, you'll need to have uh, admin rights to do that but if you do then um, in the future you can just use excel wings um, instead of the full path on the command prompt so that's just a little um uh, a little trick to make things a little easier. Anyhow, uh, yeah, give it a try and uh, maybe let me know in the comments below how it went. Bye.